What's going on, people? The Zenogra Wild Hunt is what I'm calling it, is currently underway. So, as you all know, this week, Zenogra is going to be appearing in the wild. And we had to prep last week by hunting a few ice monsters to make sure that we are well prepared to take him off. Alright, so get your barrier on, get your leggy weapons ready, because it's time to farm zinnies. Or zinogers, whatever you prefer. So anyway, let's start with the, uh... well first let me take down this Puke Puke, because... Oh, never mind, it is a double jump. That's always nice. I have a friend in the neighborhood, so let's guess to see if he accepts. Oh, he did. And quickly, too. Maybe extra. Mm. That's what a great panel do. <laughs> this is great. Now, do I need Zenogra parts? No, not especially. But, hunting them in the wild, who am I to say no? Right? So, um, one of the reasons I'm making this video is, long story short, what do you need to take on as a note, right? So, my best recommendation, uh, especially since this is going to be a lot of people's opportunity to get more parts, is obviously ice weapons. That's the whole reason we had the ice event. If you don't have a good ice weapon, a good poison weapon should help, but he's also weaker in the wild because on Hunterthons he was always scaled for multiplayer only. So eight star Zenogre is going to be very different than what we're accustomed to because he won't have as much health. He will not have as much health. So let me take on this 8 star, and then we can get into the details. Mm, there's also a pink radiant close by, that's cool. So let me send out this invite, so my friend doesn't think I stopped playing. And as you know, I'm, more, get, I'm using the Ice Attack um, plus 5 with Divine Blessing special boost in weakness exploit and lock on right so i have switched to the the core puke puke helmet as well as the pink raytheon legs and i have the leggy waist with the barrioth gloves and the barrioth chest piece that is currently my set and what i'm doing now for most of you ooh, it's actually annoying to dodge that mid combo when you're using dual blades. Oh wow, that tail is still on. Oh, this guy's doing dual blades too. So, yeah, much easier, especially if you're solo. His health is not as high. Um, is his moves the same? Yes, he's still gonna hurt a crap ton. He is not gonna pull any punches. But if you have a good seven, grade seven, five, five weapon, or if you're already in grade eight, this hunt should be a thousand times easier for you to manage. 
not gonna lie. And there's different ways you can mix up this set. So let's take a look. So obviously the Barriot set is absolutely needed for you to complete your ice skills, right? There, there is no if, ands, or buts about that, right? So you're, um, you can essentially make the Barrioth chest, which gives you one ice attack. You can make the gloves. The gloves are very important, so you should be making the gloves. Um, if you're, if no, if anyone out there was interested, if anyone out there hasn't made it yet, something we probably should have talked about last week, realistically. But you should have made the gloves, or should be at least attempting to make the gloves, because he's still out there in hunt the thorns. And um, going back to the Barrioth set, those are the most important pieces, oh, pieces, right? The legs and everything else is just an additional, but the, the chest piece and the gloves are the very most important pieces. Now for Leggy, you can make the helmet. The helmet comes with one ice attack and I made the helmet in the beginning, but the most important piece is the waist. As you can see, the waist gives you two levels of ice attack once you get to, once you get it to grade six. All right, um, I think it actually gives you two levels at grade five. So I just made it, brought it to grade six for defense. No other armor pieces gives you um, an ice attack up, unfortunately. So now that you can essentially mix and match, you can make the leggy waist and the Barrioth gloves. That gives you plus four ice attack. And then you, you're interchangeable between the helmet and the chest piece. Personally for me, you know I love lock-on, so I use the chest piece. But if you're something like a gunner or an archer, um, specifically archers, you can interchangeable and mix it up by putting on the Azor Rathalos helmet for focus while still giving those ice abilities. And I think the Juratodos legs, right? It depends on what you want. Do you want focus five or do you want ice five? Um, but for me, using dual blades as well as shield and sword, this is what I'm going to, this is what I'm running with, right? And if Coral Puke Puke comes back, if I had, was able to maximize, I would have been able to get it to grade eight. And he'd be giving me weakness exploit level two, which is a just bit more quit when I'm hit crit when I'm hitting weak spots. Right? So that's what I'm going with. The biggest things for me is the weakness exploit the ice attack definitely and the lock on now divine blessing does come from the weapon which is a little additional defense but the barrier of weapon isn't so bad either because you have a beta extender essentially just when you're dodging you move farther so i think that's pretty cool does it go any higher no evade extender stays a level one but i definitely prefer the leggy weapon does just more utility and not even that, it has higher ice attack. Who doesn't love a higher ice attack, right? Higher element. Uh, for me, you know, elements in this game are a big deal. So that's what I'm going with. And I was, go you can, I, I was personally going with the shield and sword first because I could block. But yes, um, that's what you really want to do to try to maximize your set obviously like you won't get a lot of these benefits until you get the items to grade six i believe you won't get the two ice attack ups until you uh, can upgrade this to grade six which was the whole point of farming the barrier up in the first place but also i use the pink raytheon legs because i want special boost but they're not the end all be all it's, there's definitely different options you can use even the uh what is it? What was I'm looking at? The Rathalos comes with additional weakness exploit, so I can get my weakness exploit up to plus three if I want to do that. I, I just personally like losing special boosts, but they're not the end all be all, right? If anyone's out there really looking to switch things up. The Devil Doe does come with guts and latent power, which I think is pretty cool. And Odo's evasive concentration. So the legs are interchangeable. There is no end all be all for the legs. But I definitely recommend taking advantage of, uh, you know, last week's event if you've gathered the materials. Um, but other than that, the only downside you have to realize is while the Huntathons are still available with the Zenogres with it, Hunting in the Wild now limits your K 
capability in team hunts. Is he weaker? Yes, but you're not gonna randomly have a squad to join you now as of the recent update. So obviously this is the time for you to bring a friend with you, see what they're capable of. But uh, yeah, you know, he's in the wild. We can go out, we can have fun. The parts are gonna be easier to gather. He's gonna be more frequent and you don't have to wait every three hours to hunt him, but you're just not gonna always have a friend around to assist. All right, but I will be interested in seeing if the nine star Huntathons are back since it's his week. Look, there's a six star up there. And there's a six star Huntathon. Yeah, so they're really all over. So definitely take advantage. And uh, happy hunting, guys. You know, just have fun out there. Hope you get the parts that you need. RNG ain't that fun. But yeah. Zero out.